Welcome back, gang. It's Deltia from DeltiasGaming.com. And I got Veloth Ur's Mage's Amulet, the number one mythic in the Necrom chapter you're going to want to get, especially for the Arcanist. The one piece is going to give you offensive pen. It's going to give you minor force, but it's also going to increase your damage done against monsters by 15%. And that's a unique buff. It will reduce your light and heavy attack damage by 99%. This is absolutely perfect for the Arcanist that doesn't rely heavily on light or heavy attack damage, making it the number one go-to mythic for one of the hardest hitting, easy, big damage classes in the Elder Scrolls Online. This thing came out and is an absolute nuclear missile. You combine Veloth Ur with Deadly Strikes and your your other favorite five piece armor set and you'll do huge damage and this is how you get it okay so this is going to require the antiquity system if you don't have access to that you're going to need to buy that dlc chapter or subscribe to eso plus i'm going to assume you know about the antiquity system with the antiquity system you're going to have to five leads you're going to dig them up assemble them all five and then you can reconstruct the mythic and it's in your collections to assemble whenever you want from 25 transmute stones the first lead is ebon cross sword chain coming in at vardenfell and you dig it up at the telvani peninsula how you get it is the World Boss Daily Coffers. The World Boss Daily Coffers at the South Shrine in Vardenfell, just west of it, in the Hall of Justice. You're going to go in there and there's going to be two quests that you can get. One is going to contain a random World Boss kill. You're going to complete that by killing the World Boss, coming back in, and to turn in is going to be actually a different location. Once you turn it in, it's going to give you a coffer, similar if you got the Markins lead by killing that World Boss in there. Just think of those dailies that you need to do for the Markins. Complete it, get a random chance to get it. It only took me two World Boss kills. Boom, I got it. Now you have to rotate through different characters because you only get one chance per character. However, you can pair up with friends if you have friends, and they can share the quest with you to give you multiple chances at getting this mythic lead wasn't too bad but go in the hall of justice go kill a world boss come back rinse and repeat on as many characters or as many friends as you have second lead up is the ebony shock mounting drop location apocrypha you dig it up at telvani peninsula so this comes from the rune masters apocrypha world boss very very simple you go into apocrypha i'm gonna explain how you get there so if you don't know necrom in the necrom chapter you have the city called necrom it's just to the east of necrom is a portal to apocrypha there's a green one and a red one take the green one work your way up to the middle of the map and go in the top right you'll find this world boss on this map location all you do is sit there and park it kill it over and over it respawns about every five minutes a uh, trick to killing it is making sure you kill the crystals people farming this boss will not be killing the crystals and the boss will become essentially immune to damage and making it very very rough for you that's the only tip sit there park it kill it over and over it took me a long time to get this one about 30 tries so good luck to you the third lead up is gold something i can't pronounce cradle comes in the telvani peninsula and you dig it up in the telvani peninsula and it comes from adele well i can't pronounce as well this is obviously very simple the Selvani Peninsula. It's in the southwest corner. You go in the Delve. One specific boss you need to camp and kill. Sit there, camp it, kill it. Very, very easy. I think it got this on the second or third one. It has pretty quick respawn timer. Shouldn't be hard to get this one. Next one up is the hardest one, probably Gold Shock Class. This actually comes from the Shrivener's Hall dungeon, and the dig location is the Telvani Peninsula. So, the Shrivener's Hall is a new dungeon. It's part of the new DLC that uh, the Elder Scrolls Online released. In this dungeon, you're going to have scams. The scamps come in different locations in the side areas of the dungeon. Those scamps, whether you do normal, give you a small key. Whether you do veteran, will give you large keys. Essentially unlock a room later on in the dungeon that you can access and turn these keys in to get extra loot rewards. And there's actually a tool that you can use to expose these scamps and find them easier and kill them. Get the keys, finish the dungeon, and then go to the trophy room unlock them and then bang you have a chance at getting this mythic lead i think we ran trivner's hall about four times using these and if you stockpile these up or you're watching this before it releases on consoles start running trivner's hall and saving those keys it'll make it much easier this is a, probably the hardest most challenging part of getting this mythic my suggestion run it on normal quickly get those keys go to the trophy room pop them open see if you get it next up the last lead is lucian some word i can't pronounce shocker drop location apocrypha dig location 
Ocean Telbani Peninsula. This is the Underweave Public Dungeon bosses. So what I did is just camp the very first boss, walk right into the public dungeon, sat and camped the boss, about a five minute respawn. So I sit and answered emails, did a bunch of other stuff, heard the boss in the background, killed it, had a flat 400k HP, boom, rinse and repeat. If you have extra time or you're paying attention, I think you can rotate around and kill different bosses. But for the simplicity sake, I just sat on the first one that's inside the main room, got it done and got the mythic. Now, again, you're gonna wanna throw this mythic on, especially in Arcanist, it absolutely rocks. I recommend Deadly Strikes, it's a great gear set, five piece on your front bar with this. And then if you play magic or stamina, you can slot something else on your body. Like Baha says Mania for magic users, Perfected Coral Riptide for stamina users. Whatever your flavor is, pick something that doesn't require you to light attack weave and you will do massive damage in the Elder Scrolls line with very, very little effort. Hope you got something out of this video. Link in the description below for a written guide in case you missed something and don't want to watch my whole little lecture again. And then make sure to check our Arcanist build videos and check me out on twitch.tv slash My mom claims I'm the best streamer alive. Appreciate you.